Fleet businesses today face three major challenges: rising fuel costs, operational inefficiencies, and increasing pressure to reduce emissions. Traditional fleets struggle with unpredictable expenses and downtime that cut into profitability. That's why forward-thinking businesses are building their fleets with electric motorcycles, maximizing efficiency, cutting costs, and ensuring long-term sustainability. I'm Jack, CEO of Electrum. Today, let's hear directly from Dash, who have embraced electric mobility from the start and the impact it's had on their operations. Hey, Ati. Thanks for. Uh... For having me here, happy to have Jack. Yeah, yeah, yeah great. Um, so uh, I think a lot of our audience are um, very curious about uh, you know about Dash, mm -hmm. right? So could you tell us about uh, you know what's the mission and vision of Dash? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good question. So we essentially started Dash to provide sort of like EVS service to B two B business, right? Mm -hmm. As you know, like I think the there are more and more business that will require last mile delivery, mm. e-commerce, on-demand delivery, logistics, right? Mm. All of them will require, you know, huge amount of number of key delivery worker. Mm. But we kind of like felt like there's very few kind of like options if this business want to electrify their surface, right? Mm. We see a gap there and we see an opportunity to provide a solution that's not just sustainable in terms of you know, we provide EV zero emissions, but also affordable, right? Mm. That's that's kind of like the the idea why we started this kind of like EV as a surface business. Mm -hmm. And uh, what's your background? Like, mm. what got you involved in starting Dash? Yeah, that's a good question. So, uh, I had a quite experience in mobility. So before starting Dash, I was working in Gojek for about eight years. Mostly working in the eight product. years. Eight years. Yeah. 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 So I joined quite early as an intern at the time, and then gradually um, climb up the career there and working mostly in transportation business. Yeah. So I see firsthand kind of like problems that, and then the, the, the growth as well that we see in terms of the number of uh, last mile fleet, peak delivery fleet that we will need in the next five to ten years essentially. So uh, because the topic today is about uh, EV, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So why why did you consider EV to be an important part of Dash's strategy? Two reasons actually, right? First is more on in terms of how we want to really sell and how we really want to provide USB to our clients, right? Mm -hmm. um, there's not much option in terms of um, last mile EV based sustainable logistic out there, right? Mm. So by Providing EV and providing this core value, we sort of like become, you know, a few options that are in the market, right? Mm. And the demand for this kind of thing is going to become bigger and bigger, right? Mm. Second thing is in terms of unit economic, right? Mm. Um, we serve clients who typically need our drivers to deliver 50 to even 60 deliveries per day. Mm. That will translate to like 100, 120 kilometers mm. per day. Mm. And with petrol, the cost will be too high for that, right? Mm. I think around um, 40 to 60 mm. uh, k rupiah per day, mm. Mm. that's just too expensive for okay. petrol. Wow. And by getting EV, for example, from you, mm. we could just, you know, spend 40, 50 k, mm. and they will actually already, you know, uh, include the both the EV and then the battery part, right? Yeah. So it just makes sense for us. So could you tell me and our audience a little bit about uh, how IoT could enable your business to mm. be more efficient? Mm. Yeah, definitely. I think as a fleet management, uh, a company right uh, first of all we aspire to have like a thousands of bikes right uh, with Electrum and with our partners too and managing these thousands of thousands of bikes is not easy right yeah security is definitely one of the main pain point right yeah uh, we could easily have our drivers to suddenly appear in different kind of cities yeah right so and with with IC this kind of like things when happen it's just so hard to find this bike, right? Yeah. With Electrum, we could not just easily find the location of the bike, but we could, you know, change the speed mm -hmm. or turn it off remotely, mm -hmm. right? That's mm -hmm. definitely help us on managing the risk. And mm -hmm. also like drivers sort of like, you know, they need to think twice before trying want to do this kind of like stuff, right? That's right. Second is like, I think uh, you do have a lot of like um, sophisticated function in terms of uh, you have a lot of like batteries web network right yeah. in, in in greater jakarta area and all of like this information already there as well in your platform right right now we could easily access this information to your app or fit portal we yeah. could easily top up the battery via a portal yeah. managing that kind of like things is 
easy with this kind of thing, right? Because mm-hmm. drivers can just focus in driving and delivery, mm-hmm. and we will think through about the battery cost and all paying all of that stuff, right? Doing that remotely is amazing, right? Mm. Right. So so far, like, what what are some of the uh, mm. sustainable or sustainability related achievements that you've made? Yeah, yeah. So our internal assessments. Uh, Basically, based on our assessments, we know like each of our drivers offset sort of like uh, 90 kilograms of carbon to oh, emissions okay. per month. Yeah. So typically, I think I um, mean in our past 13 months of operations, we've already offset about 70 thousands, yeah. yeah. 70 tons of CO2 yeah. emissions. Yeah. Right. That's, that's sort of like uh, the impact that we always want to provide in the near future too. So um, yeah. So so lastly, right? How do you see? Um, the future, right, of uh, EV transition and EV adoption in the fleet management business. I think what one of the things that we will see in the industry is the capex costs will become lower and lower, right? EV is definitely the future, mm-hmm. not just from the opex cost uh, saving perspective, but yeah. also from the impact that it will give, right? Yeah. We see first, and I think from the gig delivery worker, not just from that, but from our other platform too. Yeah. Most of them want to transition to EV okay. because they see like the benefit percent, right? Mm. 50, 60 percent cost reductions from mm. petrol to battery. Yeah. Uh, no need to think about maintenance, yeah. right? So I think the adoption will become bigger and bigger. Great, great. Okay, that's all my questions. Mm. Well, thank you very much, Adi. Yeah, always like to talk to you. Thank you, Jake. Yeah. From logistics to ride hailing, companies like Dash are proving that EV motorcycles are the smarter, more sustainable way forward. Lower costs, greater efficiency, and a positive environmental impact. This is the future of fleet management. The transition is happening now. Are you ready to join the movement? Let's electrify your fleet together.